In this video, I'm going to show you how to search a cell to see if it contains a certain value in Google Sheets. So I'm going to show three different methods for doing this and they all have their pros and cons. The first method is using the regex match formula. And so to use that, what we're going to do, um, this is the syntax here. The first parameter is going to be the cell you are searching and then in quotes, um, the text that you are searching for. So I'll just do that um, with this example. So regex match, and then it's uh, what I'm searching. So I'm just gonna click on the cell reference. And then inside quotes, I'm just going to search for boy. And then I will copy this down. So what this is doing is um, it is searching this text for boy and if it has that string in there it's going to return true and if it doesn't it's going to return false so you can see this first one does have boy but it returns false um, this one has boy but it returns true the reason is because this formula is case sensitive so if i search boy with a capital b um, then it's going to search or return as true um, but right now you can see that it only returns true for the ones that are exactly um, capitalized the same way as what I'm searching for. So there's two ways kind of around that if you want to search every um, iteration of that word despite how it's capitalized. You can either add the OR symbol to search for um, different capitalization methods. So maybe I'll do um, with the capital B so it's searching for boy with the lowercase b or boy with a capital B and if it's um, in any of that it'll return as true um, so you can see that is one method um, the other method is you can use it in combination with the lower function so I'm going to convert the cell I'm searching for to lowercase um, like that and then it's going to return true because it's automatically converting this to lower before I search it. So this is actually probably a better method. Um, if you just want to show um, the ones that contain that word despite how it's capitalized. So the other important thing to note with this regex match function is that it does not search numbers. Um, so I'm just going to copy this down one, two, three, four. And then maybe I'll search for or four in here. So it does not search numbers. If you want to search numbers, what you're going to have to do is convert this number first to text, and then it will search numbers. Um, so that's just a couple important things to note with this, is that it is case sensitive, and it does not search numbers. So the next method we have for doing this is by using a combination of the if and search functions. So what this is going to do is it's going to search for boy in this cell and if it contains that it'll return one. If it doesn't contain that it's going to end up calculating as like a value error. Um, so I'll just show you how that works. If search and then inside quotations I want to search for boy I'm going to search for it in this cell and then if it calculates to greater than zero, which it will if that is in that cell, we're going to return one, otherwise zero. And then, yeah, we will just copy the formula down. So you can see um, the ones that do not have it, it returns in this value error. The ones that do have it, it returns as one. And it does search despite how it's capitalized. And if we were to do this on a number, let's search for one in here, it also does calculate. So this has some benefits over the other method in that um, it's not case sensitive and it does search numbers. So the last method that I'm going to show is using the COUNTIF function. 
so to do this, uh, the syntax of this is going to be the first parameter is the cell I want to search. The second parameter is what I'm searching. So in this method, you want to make sure you have these asterisk symbols um, on the outside of the text you are searching, because what this means is wildcard, meaning um, if I don't have these, it's just going to search the entire cell. And if the entire cell is equal to that, then it will evaluate to one. If um, I have these asterisk symbols, it's a wild card, meaning no matter what's at the beginning or what's at the end of this word here, it'll still evaluate that. So just to show you how that works, we'll do count if I'm going to search this cell, and then I'm going to search boy with the wild card symbols, and it evaluates for one if. Um, if boy is in there and zero if it is not in there and this method is not case sensitive you can see um, this one with the uppercase B lowercase B still evaluates to one this method uh, does not work on numbers unless it is converted as text so you can see it's not evaluating to anything but then if I format it as text it'll evaluate to one um, so those are three different methods for searching if a cell contains a certain value, um, whether you're searching for text or number, you just have to kind of know um, which of these are case sensitive, which ones will search numbers, but hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.